Welcome to a special Mother's Day edition of Life with Lori. And now, live from Studio C at Morningside, here's your host, Lori Graham Baker. Hello, everybody, and welcome to an extra special show. All, all I want to say is today we want to honor you mothers. Mm -hmm. Mother's Day is, to me, next to, of course, Christmas and Easter, but I don't know, I can't. Mother's Day is so extra special mm -hmm. for the moms in our lives yeah. that have done so much for us on, in, on so many levels. Yes. And if your mom hasn't been that mom, then I know that the Lord, if you let him bring other mothers mm -hmm. into your life, spiritual mothers into your life. And today, I mean, I put, I, I've given the crew, the thing is we, we go nonstop here and I've given our crew a gazillion pictures to put in the <laughs> Kyra that put on the screen and they're still working on getting them down there but y you're gonna enjoy them and and it is such an honor today to have to to have many women in my life that are our family that are all mothers and I am honored and today I would just want to introduce them quickly. I have, well, sitting right here next to me, this one, Lynn, who came, I had to go all the way to South Korea to find <laughs> Lynn. Right. All the way to South Korea. Yeah. And she is my other mother. She was my executive assistant for a time, a long time. Mm -hmm. And we just, you know, this bond happened. And I, I love my Lynn. And she, Lynn, you always hear me talk about Lynn, but you never get to see her. She always sits over by the camera because she's praying for me every time I do life yes, with Lori. Yes. And we all need that kind Amen. of woman yes, in right. our lives. Hallelujah. Next to me is my namesake. Hello. I, we, I call her little Lori, but professionally she's Lori. <laughs> but, but she, well, we'll talk about how all of that later. It's amazing. You, and next to Lori, little Lori is Maricela. Hello, and everyone. And she's the COO of the ministry. And who would have ever thought that she would be this yes. when I met her when she was 10 months old mm -hmm. in the ghetto, in, the inner, mm -hmm. in, in Phoenix. And I, it, it, these two just blow me away because no, no one would ever thought, little Lori and Nana and all the rest of them, that, look at that, look at that picture. <laughs> so okay, Ma, yeah, yeah. I okay, I don't you pictures. love that? But there's, we have so many pictures like this, grow, and them growing up, mm -hmm. and I never dreamt in a million years that they would become our children Amazing. and it is just such an absolutely astounding situation and at the same time we live it every day so we kind of forget it right and work hard yes. i believe in a good hard work ethic yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and they do too which is great Next and next to Marisela is Tammy Sue Baker. Hello. And we all know Tammy Sue. And she is my daughter and calls me mom. And that's another story that'll make me cry. So one day, Tammy Sue is going to be on my set with me on a special show with just. Just you and me, if you will, please. I will. Yes. Yes. And then, and Maricela too. You haven't done a show yes, yet. Yes, I haven't yet. Yeah. So I'm excited <laughs> to have you. And then next to Tammy Aww. Sue is an extra special person, and that's Aunt Donna. We Yay. call her, which is Amen. Jim's sister. Yeah. Hi. And <laughs> she has been. She has been such a joy. She's my sister-in-law, and I have a few questions for her. <laughs> so sure it's going to be so precious and so amazing <laughs> to see what God's... But today, we're here to honor you mothers. Right. Mothers are such a special gift from God. Mm -hmm. And I have plaques and things all around here that I don't know where the crew put them. But anyway, <laughs> that, that it's like... You know, um, God created mothers so that they would know where everything is yes. in the house, right? Amen. I mean, I, I, yes. could go on, I, I could make a comedy routine out of it all. Yeah. So we want to keep it light. Multitasking. But, but you got to do it all. Yeah. 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 Yep. We're gonna do, yeah. So I'm excited today. 
And all that to say, also, I want to just to say this, that I am speaking this Mother's Day on Sunday mm -hmm. at the church, at Morningside Church. Mm -hmm. It'll be live streaming, so you just have to go to ptlnetwork.com. It'll be 10.30 a.m. Central Time. So we want you to join us. Tammy Sue and the girls will be singing, and I can't wait got to. the whole band. Whole band. The whole band and singers. The whole oh. band and singers Everybody. are singing. Yeah. Oh, my First goodness. Ever on the so you don't, want, you don't want to miss <laughs> that. Yeah. And um, also, um, just a few little a sneak peek real quick. Don't miss next week's shows with Dr. Lance Wall now that we taped all day yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. Yes. So make sure you go to and watch the Jim Baker show. There's so many ways to watch. It's on so many times a day. And everybody's been wanting to know about my mom. And my mom was scheduled to be here, yeah. but she, um, there's oh, my sweet picture. mom. Okay. Um, but she broke her knee. She fell over and broke her knee. And so she's in rehab right now. But um, just pray for her. She's, you know, all I can say is she's Char Graham. And yes. I've just never seen, I, I just can't imagine anyone. I don't know if I could do it at 81 years old, push through like she has. She but yeah, I know it's the prayers of the people. Yes. Right. And yeah. her trust and belief in God. Right. And her um, stubbornness. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Mom. That's a good thing. Right. That's a good a thing. Good thing. Determination and yeah. stuff right. is good. That's exactly. Right. Amen, sister. <laughs> That's right. So, so excited today. And so we, what we're going to talk about, we're just going with the flow. But another thing I want to mention is the spiritual mothers in your life. You yeah. never know who God's going to bring into your life to be a spiritual mother to you. And I've, ha I've been blessed to have many. Mm -hmm. And they have taught me, they have trained me, they believed yes. in me. And I pray for you that, you know, God would bring spiritual mothers into your life as well. You know, not just moms who are pregnant, mm -hmm. give birth and all of that. And not just, you know, moms like my stepmom who's still all the time, in, we're all, always texting and, talking, Lita Marie, but there's so many moms in our lives, okay. if you'll let them come in. Yes. And because we need each other. And we, the, you know, Titus says that the older women are supposed to train the younger yes, women. That's, that's right. paraphrasing. But that's, that's what it says. Yes. And it says, train up a way, a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. And that's what my mom did. So I, I originally just wanted to have my mom on the show mm -hmm. and just really honor her and us talk. Yeah. But you know, God knows the beginning from the end. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. He knew all this was gonna take place and that's how it is in your life as well. So what did the Lord do for me? So he brought Lynn into my life who became my other mother Amen. and prays for me and gives me wisdom. Yes. And it is, has been an absolute joy and Amen. honor to have you in my life. I've needed you in my life for a very long time. But, and you're here and um, so excited to have you here, Lynn. And believe me, Lynn's been with us and you'll see the pictures of Lynn with the girls and <laughs> myself going through uh, Rome and uh, Moldova. Yes. And oh yeah, we traveled, we've, we've done the whole yes. deal. And yes. Lynn has been an incredible, so there we are. you know, other grandma to yes. our kids. Yes. And so it's been such, such a blessing. Sweet. And then next to me, of course, is little Lori. And Lori is, um, can't even believe that I have a namesake, Lori. It's <laughs> just, it's just, just a beautiful thing. And yes. we've been through so much together. Yes, I was the first one to hold her when she was born. Mm -hmm. And as I watched her birth mom get, um, Cesarean. Yeah, section. cesarean. And <laughs> and I was the first, and the doctor let me hold you and I cut know. the umbilical cord. It's amazing. And I prayed over you. Yeah. And then when Margie woke up, she's, the nurse said, you have a beautiful, healthy baby girl. <laughs> and 
and I said, and she goes, do you have a name for her? And immediately, without, in a split second, Margie said, Lori. I go, you can't name her Lori. That's not a Hispanic name. <laughs> yes, I, Maricela, Sergio, <laughs> you know, go on and on. And she's like, no, I never want to forget what you've done for this family. Yeah. And one day we'll do a show on all of that as mm. well. So look forward to that. Yeah. And then next to Maricela is, of course, Mar or, or Lori Maricela. Lori, but first of all, the Lori, sorry, everybody, but that's what we yes, call I'm her. Yes, I'm little Lori. She's you can little, call me little Lori. Little Lori. Time. I probably spoke life into like, you because look good. at her. Speaking <laughs> honest, I'll take it. <laughs> Any thoughts that you have, honey? Yeah, and you know, as mom was talking, I want to also honor you and thank you too because just like you were saying, you know, allowing women to come in and mentor. That's exactly what you did, even for us girls. As we were growing up, you allowed specific women that we trusted and to come into our lives and to mentor us and help us. And, you know, that's an, um, that speaks volumes when a mother can do that. So I want to thank you and honor you today, too, for all the sacrifice. There's so much that we could go into today. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, just truly, it is a day to honor your mothers. And it is. we should do it more often. We should pick up the phone, call our moms, yeah. and just say thank you. Even even as I've become a mother, mm -hmm. you know, these are special, special times in our lives. So thank you for the mother that you've been to us, for all you've taught us and continue as we're on this show today. She was still teaching us, so <laughs> it never right. stops. Yeah. But I just want to say stopped. thank you. I know. <laughs> I try not. But you know, I also, it's good. We I need also it. trust them to speak light, to tell me when I, you know, because I respect them, I honor them, that when I'm not on point, they'll be like, Mom, no. <laughs> or they'll say, what is she wearing right, on yes. TV? We like, have to what look out is for each she other. wearing? And, but I'm the mother, too, that would say, you know, th there's a little cute little book we have that yes. says, you know, lies, uh, forgive me, but lies that mothers get to say. <laughs> and we know one is like, you don't look fat in that dress. <laughs> and the other is, you look fat in that dress. <laughs> well, I happen to be the, the other second. one. Yes. The second, yeah. <laughs> so all, so that, to say, is, to say thank you, Lori. And I yes. love you, I love you more so than much words. Too. And Lori books all the guests for the Jim Baker Show. She's executive producer. She's amazing. I can't even imagine. She's brilliant. I can go on and on. Mm -hmm. And Marisala. Welcome to Life with Lori thank for the first you. time. I know, that's so exciting. Yeah. Thank Marisa, you, I am honored to be here. For her, sorry, even though you're the CEO of that's the right. ministry, this, <laughs> yes. you know, she, her nickname is Nana. Yes. And that, when I Absolutely. met her at 10 months old, it was always Nana. Yes. And um, Nana, anything? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, just like Lori is saying, you know, for me, you know, I want to thank you mothers out there. And this is a day today to honor mothers. And like you said, mom, whether it's your physical mother, whether it's your spiritual mother, you know, it's amazing if you have someone in your life that you have been able to call mother, you know, that you bless her and you thank her, just like the word says. But, you know, even during this time, I'm reminded right now being a mother and how important it is to train up your children in the Lord you know, and how important that you have the greatest impact. You know, I believe that the Lord created mothers to have a spirit special impact on yes. the lives of children that will soon become adults. You know, mom, you teach us every single day, we are raising up the next generation. We have a responsibility to raise those children up, to pour into them, to let them know who God is. You know, and I thank you because that's what you've done with us and yes. because you instilled that in us. Now we sit here and we're able to instill that into our children who call you grandma. Yeah. You know, and I love it. You know, my kids, they come and they say, I love grandma this much, you know, but there's such a blessing and it's such an honor that God has given us as mothers, you know, whether we've had children of our own or whether we've adopted, whether, you know, you just have children that have come into your life and now they are yours. You know, I want to thank you mothers out there. And also today I want to pray, you know, for you mothers yes. who maybe your children are lost. Right. Like you know, I, I Yeah. You know, I mom, you and I had that time. discussion, you know, there are mothers out there who during this time, they are proud pressing forward in the kingdom, asking God to bring their children back to the kingdom. And yes. we agree with you yes. today. In Jesus name. You know, name. and that's Absolutely. important to know that God hasn't forsaken you. He hasn't, you know, left you or he hasn't abandoned your children. He still watches over that. Yes, he You does. know, and there's still hope today, Absolutely. you know, that your child will come back and we will agree with you. And 
yeah. out today. Amen. But Amen. stay faithful, moms. Don't give up. There's yes. nothing right. like a mother's Amen. commitment to not give up. There's yes. nothing right. like it. That's nothing Amen. like a mother's prayer. That's I, right. I don't know, you know, forgive me. You know, there's a few camera men around here. Forgive me, guys. But... I believe that God hears a mother's prayer That's more than right. anybody yeah, <laughs> because yes. we fight for our children. Yes, we, we, want, we want to train them up in the way they should go. So when they're older, not, we want to part. Yes, they are, they are a gift from God. Children are a blessing from the Lord. Yes, yes. And, the and it is just an honor yes, to um, be a mom, but um, it's also an honor to be a daughter. Yeah. And uh, I've just had the best mom in the world. Tammy Sue yeah. Baker's here. <laughs> and she um, is, uh, we all know Tammy Sue. And I'll never forget, Sue, the, the time. Only a few people get to call her Sue, by the way. So, <laughs> right. so no one else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, no one else. So don't be coming up and calling her Sue. <laughs> Tammy Sue, which is actually a beautiful name. But um, um, I'll never forget the time that you came to visit. Mm -hmm. And you were living yeah. out in Charlotte, and you came to visit. Yeah. And you were here for a week. And I, you know, you're, you are so your father's daughter and so, on so many <laughs> levels. But, um, but, but it was the sweetest. And she was just about ready to leave. And Sue was just about ready to leave to go back. And she was... She said, could I talk to you for a minute in your office? And I'm like, well, sure, honey, you know. And she said, I don't know if it would be okay with you, but can I call you mom? And I was like, That's awesome. I'm not a huge crier, but tears. I started getting tears. I'm like, yes, I'd be honored. Oh, my goodness. And so... Tammy Sue calls me mom. I love it. I'm honored. I love you I love more you. than words can express and um she has her dad's touch you know she has we go through all this yeah, kind of yeah. stuff it's like when she, i can feel it's like if she, i comes up and i can just feel her i'm like that feels like jim it's, 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 just, it's just incredible anything sue that you have to say well i you know when you when you first meet someone and you and you go into a marriage and yes. you know you have a a, a stepmom yeah. that is very difficult it you is know? and you can either you can either deny it or you can embrace yes. it that's it that's and right. embrace it you know embrace I say it. embrace it yeah. and. Um, you know, dad fell in love with Lori, and there was a reason why he fell in love with her. And so I wanted to have a relationship with you. I wanted us to be close, and, and you and I had a lot of things in common, you know. And as the years have progressed, um, something that has meant the world to me um, is you have encouraged me so much with my singing. Yes. yes. I'm your biggest That's fan. Right. No, I mean. I always say, I'm no. her biggest fan. But the thing is, with me, you talk about me being like dad. <laughs> Which um, is a good thing. It's a good thing, but I know what you mean by some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, no, but I... I've been singing since I was five years old. Wow. I've been singing all my life. Wow. But I don't feel... I've never felt um, good, really good about it, like I'm a great singer or anything. So the way that you've encouraged me, yeah. and you act like I'm the greatest singer in the world. <laughs> you are. But you have no idea the impact that that has had on my life oh. and on my professional career. Mm. Um, it's helped to bring me back awesome. um, to another level of singing. And I just want to thank you for that. Oh. And you, have, you, don't, you don't understand. You know, there's the power... Um, to kill, steal, and destroy. That's right. And also to lift up and to change someone's right. life it's good. is in your words. It's That's the power right. of the mm. tongue. And so many times as mothers, we get frustrated yeah. and we tend to maybe yell at the children or say things that we shouldn't to the children. And, you know, don't do that. But if yeah. you do that, apologize to them and hug yes. them and love them right. because they need to know that you're yeah. human at the right. same True. time. Exactly. Um, but There's encouraging no words is everything. Yes. And, and the other thing I want to say is life is extremely short. Yes. yes, it is. Life is extremely short. And so for those of you that have lost your mothers, yes. I understand. Yes. Yes. And um, take every moment that you possibly can with your mother. Mm -hmm. Answer the phone call, yes. even though it might be a pain in the, you know what. Um, 
And you know what? That's the yeah, truth. Absolutely. Sometimes you don't want to talk to your mom. Well, right. actually, I want to. Or talk sometimes to my your mom mom's sorry. being. Yeah. You know, you, you moms and daughters don't have all always the best relationships, that's and you've true. got to fight through that. Yeah, you do. And you've got to say, "I'm sorry," and "I love you," and let's talk about it, yes. and go to lunch with each other, and spend time with each other. So, I want to encourage the mothers at home yes. to to spend time with each other yeah. and love one another while yeah. you're here on this earth because you never know what's going to happen. That's, right. so. That's exactly right. That's but I love so you. Precious. I love you. And thank you for your encouragement. You have Aww. really no idea how much it's meant to me. Mm. Well, I do believe in you in a big way. And she's next to do. me uh, on the Jim Baker show and yeah. we have so many laughs right we do. before the show. We, I, you know, I kind of right like before. it. I like that we have fun. I, oh, yeah. We have our inside little fun. Oh, we I have can, our inside I can jokes. poke her in the leg or yeah, something with exactly. dad says something. Yes. <laughs> and we both are like a little quick smile, even in a serious moment. Exactly. And I, I love that. Yeah, I love having you right next to me because, <laughs> yeah, we get... We get our life. But, <laughs> <laughs> and then our Aww. extra special guest is yes. sitting right here is, we call her Aunt Donna. Yes. This is Jim Baker's, this is my sister-in-law, Jim Baker's sister, yes. who has been so precious <laughs> and um, taking care of Donna. You know, and Donna, I'm going to ask you some question, a few questions um, a little bit later, oh. but... For right now, I just want to say welcome to Life with Lori. I'm so oh, honored to have you so here. Pretty. You she look does. beautiful. You're the most wonderful I'm, mother. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, we're going to talk about these things a little bit later. But And she yeah. has her mother's pearls on today. <gasps> By the way, oh, I just want to mention that so really quickly. Because that. we're into all that kind yes. of stuff. And she has her mother's pearls oh, on. That's so, nice. so I'm going to ask you about, about your mom a little bit later. But because I only have a few minutes left. This is how fast it goes. Yep. Um, so any thought, any thought? Well, my mother was always there for me and accepted me the way I was. And she always cooked the best food. <laughs> no, a, I love it. That's something I never could do. <laughs> yeah, Aunt Donna doesn't like to cook. Yeah, anyway. So. Grandma, she was a good cook. But, yes, yes. but she, yeah, oh, that's a pre so Fernia. That's very sweet, Fernia. Yeah, I love Fernia. Yeah, Fernia. Yeah, Fernia. Right, right. <laughs> and great pictures of you guys all together I just found. Oh, my goodness. Right. So we're going to be uh, sharing that with you. But before we go, I have a few special gifts. How much time do I have? Mr. Producer, me. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just go ahead. I have and been do this. seeing these beautiful gifts. Okay. They're well, beautiful. I want in this there for you, Lynn. And Aww, oh, this is so sweet. You. Okay. Oh, Livy's gonna Aww. love this. See, you always yes. give your kids. Excuse I'm like, me. <laughs> Sorry. Never have to have your Jeff Baker don't have the back side. Don't. Yeah. He's always like, don't have. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you. Man. Oh, man. And oh, each nice. one of these are for you. Oh, each one. And you. these are from the Marie oh, Rosebush so that beautiful. we just cut this morning. Oh. These uh, snipped out after our daughter so Marie, pretty. who I wish was Aww. here because she has the most she beautiful. Yes, yeah, she, she had to work today. And they um, smell the most so good. beautiful so, grand seen these. little seen boy. Them. So this is from oh, the Marie Rosebush. So I wanted oh. to represent Marie. Oh. Yeah. And, um, oh, right. and we wish that Claire and Marie and <laughs> yes. could be with us. We really did. You know, we wanted you want the moms in our in our lives. So all of that to say, if you open it up, somebody open one okay. of these up to see what's Aww. in it. And look what you're getting. Oh, we got. Yay. I don't have this. I've been oh, scouting this out. And it's sparkly. Okay. Sparkly. I love it. Oh. Oh, beautiful. So, oh, all right. This Somebody is one of my beautiful. favorite pieces that we, and okay. I, actually, I actually had the opportunity because I work in product. Yes. So I had the opportunity to help them decide which piece would be our Mother's Day piece for this year. And so we chose this beautiful mom necklace. It's so simple, yet so gorgeous. It's beautiful. It has sparkles. It, it has the, the Swatsky, the highest yes. quality, finest, oh. most brilliant yes. crystals in the world. There are that eight Swatsky crystals on the circle pen that says mom. It's mom's last, you know, that's that forever. Wow, it's so and that. pretty. Yeah, that, oh, it looks oh, pretty, you put it on. And so, um, 
The chain is 16 inches long and comes Aww. with four inch extenders, so that the necklace How can fit all, oh, all the mothers. Every, yes, I exactly. Love <laughs> that's, that's my favorite thing is the extenders. Yes, we have to have and then those extenders. those of us with not small neck, <laughs> Lori, little Lori, <laughs> perfect one. <laughs> Um, we have the extender. Yes, thank you, so thank you. Where, With the perfect nails. Okay, and so and that's, and that's just where I get to $25 yes. to the ministry. Yes. And that will help keep the, all of the Morningside productions on the yes, air. Absolutely. We, I mean, all of them from... Jim Baker Show to Life with Lori to that's PTL right. Shop. You're not going to want them. By the way, don't miss Tim. I love I love watching Tammy Sue on yes. the PTL shop. It's amazing. She makes me laugh, oh, and Lord. and and then sh then I want to order everything that she's offering. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. I do not want to miss it. So anyway, call right now to order your mom's your mother's necklace because even though it's already we can't get it yeah. to you before Mother's Day. This would be a gift for any time That's of the right. year. Yes. Birthdays, yes. any time of the year, or just because. Yeah. Yeah. Just because. Absolutely. So every mom you would love this. I can yes. tell you that right now. Also, we have the other bundle still available. She believed, so she could, and she believes Bible. Yes. I mean, I mean book by Debbie Lindo, which is excellent. So that's just yes. for a oh plaque, the plaque, thank, thank you, honey. Oh, it's, oh, it's in the Chiron. Yep. Okay, thank you. Um, but as you can see, it's just absolutely, and I'm telling you, I am literally studying this book as I speak right now mm -hmm. in depth, and, and I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to let, and Debbie Linda will be with us, with me on my show in June, so you're not going to want to miss that. So, in closing, this short little 30 seconds left i just want to pray for you and ask the lord to bless you moms mm -hmm. and just know that that the bible says and what what does the bible say in proverbs in 31 the proverbs 31 woman which i'm going to teach on i have a massive teaching on the proverbs 31 woman I'll teach that to you one day but what does the bible say about about that the bible says that children rise up and call her blessed that's the short version of it there's so much more to it her children rise up and call her blessed her husband also and he praises her Amen. and that is what happens when you have the opportunity to be a mom mm -hmm. and if you're a single mom out there yeah. I want to encourage you yeah. My best friend Bobby was a single mom. My mom was a single mom. I want to encourage you today that with God, all things Amen. are possible. Amen. And there are so much sitting here next to me. I mean, Lynn lost her daughter when she was in her mid-30s. Donna lost her firstborn, stillborn. And I know Jim was right next yes. to her. Yes, he was. I mean, yeah, there are so many right. you know, abortions, miscarriages. There, are, we, we represent the gamut, mm -hmm. Amen. and I just want to say, if we all can make That's it, right. yes. you can make it too. Right. Oh my gosh, Tammy Sue, <laughs> go ahead yeah. and sing it. Uh, you can make it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's true yeah, because it you, true. when you live through it, you literally you find out. Like I, 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 I admire Lynn. I'm, I'm watching her going. Look at what she's gone through and what she's lost. And I think about, about Donna, and Jim's told me the story so many times, you know, about your baby. And that is unimaginable, mm -hmm. but yet God, yeah, but with right. God and yeah. trusting him and giving you peace yeah. and comfort, but always allowing you to go through the grieving and the mourning process, which is healthy, that's super right. That's right. healthy. Yeah. That's right. So all that says, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, we love you, love you so much. I love you. Yeah. I believe in you. Right. And for those of you that aren't moms yet, if you're watching, I believe you're going to be mom soon, you young ladies. Mm -hmm. And those of you that have a barren womb, just remember all the women in the Bible who had a barren womb. Mm. But what did God do? 
he gave life. And I have to also say that Mary must have been a pretty amazing girl to have the Lord, God, say, this is the one I chose to bring Jesus into this world. Mm -hmm. So she really is the ultimate mother. And we need to pattern our lives after somebody like that. Mm -hmm. So happy Mother's Day. We love you and stay tuned. There's more to come. Love you.